For this tutorial we're going to discuss on how to do normal map baking inside 3D Studio Max. As you can see we have a high poly here with a dent in it and our low poly here with less segments. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a low poly and make sure it has an unwrap on it. As you can see I've put a very basic one on this just to demonstrate. And we're going to collapse our unwrap down. We're going to select our high poly and we're going to rename it at the top here and call it high. Select our low poly and call it low. This just makes it a little easier for us. Okay, we want to move this over the top now. So we're going to select move, go up to the tool here, quick align, click it, and then click on the low poly and it'll jump it there. Okay, with our low poly selected, we're going to go to render to texture. We're going to go down to here to projection mapping, tick enabled, and then click pick. We're going to select our high and then click add to create a cage. We're going to click options and then global super sampler setup and then click enable global super sampler. We're going to keep this max 2.5 star. Close this and close this one. We're going to make sure this is using existing map channels and map channel 1. That's our unwrap we did. We're going to click the add button here and then we're going to go normal map because that's what we're generating. And then we're going to click these three dots here and choose where we want to save it to. We're going to just put this on desktop as a target. And we're going to put it out as 24 bit and click OK. We're going to make this 512 by 512. And we're going to put it output into source in the baked material. I'm going to close this now and set up our cage. expand the cage on the projection modifier and if we click shaded here we can see our cage a lot easier and we'll click reset okay we're going to go up to the push amount here and we're going to push it we want the cage covering our mesh here our high poly so that we can get all the information with more complex models you have more complex cages and you'll be playing around a lot more okay now we've got that done we're going to go render render the texture again Scroll down and quickly check our settings are still here. And now we're going to click the render button. Click continue. We're going to wait for this. And as you can see, our normal map is projected through for our high poly. So let's close this and close this and see the result. Let's delete the projection modifier. Select our high poly. Right click, click hide selected. Now push M to open up material editor. We're going to expand maps and tick bump and then set this from 30 to 100 and then click the none button next to it in this menu we're going to click normal bump and then at the top normal here we're going to click bitmap we'll navigate to where we saved our normal map earlier it should be called low normal okay we're going to double click it and we're going to just drag and drop this and show how it's working. So if we click the show preview button. As you can see the purple there's nothing getting affected here. And the different colours represent the different depth of how the light acts and creates the fake projection. So we're going to go back here. And now we're going to click the render button up here just to show how it's working. There you go. There's our hole that we made in our high poly projected onto our low poly. And that is how you create a normal map inside Max using the projection modifier.